Uh, having worked in law enforcement, I recognize the need for a uh, quality training space for our first responders. And that's exactly what you guys have in this community. The funding for this project is just a really great example of government efficiency and leveraging strong relationships. We did this with our neighboring Cottage Grove, but also with the state of Minnesota. The Hero Center will save us time and money and we, so we don't have to travel a significant distance or scramble to find space to train. The Hero Center provides almost limitless flexibility for our police, firefighters, and emergency service personnel to receive the training to ensure safety and well-being of our communities. One of the things that we heard so many times, dozens of projects, where they would say, our project is shovel ready. This project truly was shovel ready. This truly is a remarkable facility. We have fire training facilities in, in the metro, and we have police training facilities in the metro, but here it's truly first responders because we know that these important people who protect us every single day work together as a team and they have to be able to train together as a team. And that is what makes this particular place so unique and special. And from a public safety director's standpoint, to know that our officers, our medics, our firefighters are trained at the same level as, as the personnel here in Cottage Grove and throughout the county. I see our sheriff's office is here and they're very much going to be training with us. That's how it's done. Uh, so on those bigger calls, when everybody comes together and those lines are blurred between communities, we know that everybody's going to be on the same page. So that's very, very exciting. We have to thank Captain Greg Renzel and Assistant uh, Chief from Woodbury, Chris Minart. They've worked tirelessly for years going to every little detail to make this the finest training facility in the, the state. Two, one. It's a great place.